What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who haven't heard about this bomb now, the Tristan Thompson situation with the Indiana Pacers look like it has finally been resolved. For some reason, he only played like two or three games for them. I don't actually know why they decided to even play him again. He actually did really well too in the four games. He played 16 and a half minutes. Averaging 7.5 points per game on 4.5 rebounds, which is, again, a lot better than what he did on Sacramento. Plus, his defense looked a lot better on the Indiana Pacers, and a lot of fans actually seemed to really like what he was able to produce out there. So that was, of course, really, really interesting to, you know, kind of see. Again, what has actually happened right now is it does look like the Tristan Thompson situation will be resolved, and he will actually make his way to the Chicago Bulls, and I think, personally, this is one of the best signings that we've seen in quite a while, because the thing I have been saying for a long time is, if the Chicago Bulls can bring in another backup big man that can help out and produce a big amount of minutes when a player like Vucevic or someone like that goes down, or even just off the bench, you know, can play 18 or 20 minutes per game, the team would be a whole lot better. Because realistically right now, their backup center is Tony Bradley. And Tony Bradley is just not that good of a player. And he's really only getting a big amount of minutes because the Chicago Bulls have no one else. They have so much depth at their wing positions, their guard positions, but not really too much depth at their power forward and center. But now they finally bring in a guy in Tristan Thompson that can help out so much with this team and will finally play a lot of those backup center minutes. For example, if I was to ask you, who is the you know second leading rebounder on this Chicago Bulls team that's you know behind Nikola Vucevic, you might say, oh, gotta be Tony Bradley, right? No, it's actually Lonzo Ball and DeMar DeRozan, and then Javante Green, Zach Levine, and Alex Caruso. This team just has no big men. All their wings and guards are the ones getting all the boards because this team is just he doesn't have any of these, you know, solid big players. And again, I know they love to run this small ball lineup and they love to do this and that. But that's again another reason why Tristan Thompson is so perfect for this Chicago Bulls team. Because Tristan Thompson has run a small ball kind of, you know, the way he plays. He's legitimately just a small ball center. He was in that Cleveland Cavaliers team in 2016 when the whole league basically said... Let's go small ball now like the Golden State Warriors and let's contend with them like that. And again, Tristan Thompson was the starting center on a championship team, which is crazy to think about that the Bulls just got a solid player that can do that. And again, I think it was in his last season with the Cavs, he actually averaged a double-double, which is pretty crazy. Like the dude can get a rebound at six foot nine. And I actually believe Tristan Thompson might play around 20 minutes per night for the Chicago Bulls team. Because realistically, there's 38 minutes, right? There's 38 minutes a night that you can play. Vucevic, this season, is currently averaging a solid 34 minutes per game. But again, I think that might go down to about 32, just based on the fact, you know, give him a little bit more of a rest, uh, get him ready for the postseason, this and that. Then Tristan Thompson gets a guaranteed 16 minutes per game right there. Plus, there's no reason why Thompson and Vucevic couldn't actually run the floor together because we've seen Tristan Thompson has the ability to guard the power forward position. We've seen him do it a lot in his last couple of seasons at the Cavs. We saw him do it a little bit with the Celtics, and I think he even did it a bit with the Kings. Here's the thing. You could actually run Vucevic and you know Thompson together for like five minutes per game. It wouldn't hurt because Vucevic can still space the floor and hit those threes while Tristan Thompson can still, again, guard the power forward position. He has had the capability to do it before. And again, I remember this one game when the Cavaliers were playing the Lakers a couple years ago, and the Cavaliers legitimately had no one to play on LeBron. And in the first half, Tristan Thompson played on LeBron, and LeBron only had nine points. Um, you know, I think it was five assists and, like, no rebounds. He got absolutely killed by Thompson in the first half. But then I guess, you know, the second half, it kind of unfolded when the Cavs defense just absolutely broke down and Thompson had no help with LeBron. And I think Thompson ended up, or LeBron ended up like dropping like 20 extra points. But hey, I'm going to say that's more on the Cavs' fault than that's actually on Tristan Thompson's fault. Again, he's guarded, I believe, Giannis, etc. before as well. 
there's no reason why he couldn't do that a little bit on the Chicago Bulls team. And I definitely think he'll be able to help out with that. And the fact that the Chicago Bulls now have just a solid backup big. Like their best backup big was probably Derek Jones. And he's not that big. I think he's six foot six. Like that's who they were playing as like a backup power forward. And I think even ran some backup center minutes. For God's sake, I'm pretty sure I saw Javante Green line up at power forward like a little bit ago. It's so funny to me how small the Chicago Bulls team is. But they've just added one of the best, you know, small ball centers in the league. And I think he'll definitely be able to help out with this Chicago Bulls team. Anyway, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Are you guys excited? for Tristan Thompson, of course, to come play for the Chicago Bulls. Do you think he makes their team one of the best teams in the NBA now? Again, I know they already were, but I think even better now. Definitely don't forget to, you know, kind of let me know all your thoughts and opinions down there. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRL slash following channel, and my podcast as well, if you haven't already, which I'll all be linking in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.